Hey, it's Kay Chak, and if you want to get the maximum amount of gold possible from the mounts you have farmed from Lovers in the Air or any other of the seasonal events in World of Warcraft, then this is the video for you. If you have some spare gold for investing, then this is the video that could be worth millions of gold to you. So let's get into it. Firstly, I'll talk to you farmers out there. The investors will have to wait until later in the video. I'm not going to talk about farming amount because frankly, there are some amazing videos out there already. What I want to talk to you about is what to do when you get the mount and want to sell it to make some gold. So every year we get some amazing ways to farm these mounts and that is great. You get the mount easier every time, but so does everyone else on your server. You go to the auction house and it looks something like this. 30 odd people have listed them out, the quantity available in the auction house has skyrocketed and the price has plummeted to the point where it sat at slightly only above 10% of the regional median and mean value. So what is happening here? These graphs show the price and quantity available of Swift Lovebirds for the past seven years. The top one is the whole EU and the bottom one is for the US region. The blue bit is the price and the red line is the quantity available. Now, you can see every time the event pops around, we get a huge surge. In some cases, suddenly 10 times more mounts are available on the auction house and the price drops massively. Not surprising, you have massively increased supply, but demand hasn't changed, so the price will of course drop. But you see over time, the available quantity on the auction house drops and the price increases. In most years, by July, August, the amount available has dropped by about 60 to 70% and the price has usually approximately doubled. Let's have a look at some of the other seasonal mounts. This is a Swift Spring Strider. This mount comes from the Noble Garden event, which will also be appearing in WoW fairly soon. This is an even more extreme example, as we can see it selling for four to 500% of the price it does in the event by the time it's due to come around again. Crazy, you are getting so much more gold for the same thing you were farmed. And finally, let's look at the Crispus Mount, the Minion of Grumpus. His jumps are a bit less extreme as a percentage, but as a gold value, you can easily be making 100 to 150,000 gold more per mount that you sell if you do it at the right time. The pattern is obviously the same with every seasonal mount, so you know where I'm going from here. If you are desperately needing the gold now, then of course you need to sell the mounts you have farmed. However, I strongly advise you throw any seasonal mounts you have in the bank for at least three to four months. When it comes to selling it, you're going to have less competition and be able to sell it for a lot more gold. What about if you have loads of gold laying around, not doing anything, but you want to make some more gold? Well, when people are dumping mounts on the auction house and desperately undercutting each other, then this is a flipper's paradise. You can buy loads of these up cheap, throw them in a bank for a bit, and then get them out again when you can make a decent profit on your investment. You have so much more security flipping these mounts than most other stuff, as you know that the supply is gonna be cut off for almost a year, so it makes it so much easier to control the market. In that example we saw earlier, if the auction house looked like that towards the end of the event, I would actually just be tempted to buy them all up at that price, seeing they're all cheap and potentially having control of the market on that server quite early. If you can be the only one with those mounts, then you can hike up the price immediately and don't have to worry about waiting for everyone else to sell out. So this is my current approach for these seasonal events. I'm watching most servers, especially towards the end of the event when prices have really dropped and I'm looking for cheap mounts that I can pick up that I know will make me more gold in a few months time. It is fairly reliable, you have seen the graphs, the same thing has happened every single year and it makes it a really good way to make a huge amount of gold, it just requires you to be extremely patient. Anyway guys, I hope this video helped you in some way. If you enjoyed it, you can like and comment, it helps it get shared around YouTube, which really helps me. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.